Hey there everyone, Phil Joe here and welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to talk a bit about some of the artisan equipment that we have in Stardew Valley. These bad boys are really awesome where we increase the sale price of our unprocessed goods by quite a lot. But there are always some which are better than the rest. So today we will be discussing about the differences between the preserve jars, kegs and the beehives to see which one would be the best to focus for maximum profit. I chose these three because for the beehives and preserve jars you need 8 pieces of coal each. And for the kegs you just need iron bars and copper bars. But the kegs and preserve jars are the same, like you process crops in them, while the beehive produces honey from the flowers that you plant around them. But before we begin with the video, if you're new to my channel feel free to subscribe to it so you won't miss out any of my future updates. I mostly do Stardew Valley videos with an occasional stream here and there. So if you like what you see, I hope you'll join my community. We'll be starting out with the preserve jars. There has always been an ongoing war between the kegs and preserve jars, but there are always crops like that which are always better for the preserve jars while other crops which are more suited for the kegs. The quality of the added ingredients to the preserve jars doesn't influence the finished product as the prices are always the same. However, the finished product is always better than the gold quality produce that you have used, so it's not a waste either. The preserve jar's production time may vary between 2-4 to four days depending on the type you're processing. For jelly, pickled vegetables and aged raw is around 2-3 to three days and for the caviar is around 2-4 to four days. To craft one preserve jar you need 8 coal, 50 wood and 40 stone with a farming level of 4 to unlock. It has a really high resource requirement, which can take a while to gather from farming, but spending a few days trying to gather all that coal will be quite rewarding in the long run. Next up we have the kegs, which are reused in making drinks in the game. The kegs are really popular, since you can make wine out of them or juice maybe. But who makes that though? The wine that you create from the kegs can further age into casks, after you upgrade your house and that will further increase the price of the wine, which can get you a lot of money in the long run. The only downside to the casks is that you will have to wait for 2 seasons of aging before acquiring the iridium quality wine. But that's mostly the waiting game, where you get paid for just having those casks in the basement. But let's get back to the keg for now. To craft a keg you need 30 wood, 1 copper bar and 1 iron bar and 1 oak resin. Seeing these materials, we can notice that coal is not needed which makes the keg more accessible compared to the preserve jars, so you can easily fill out a shed with them in no time. In the keg you can make a lot of useful items, like coffee, mead, beer, tea, juice and the most popular which is the wine. The processing time of the wine, however, is the longest and it needs 6.5 days in order to produce wine, but the price is much higher than the one of the preserve jars. So you should take this into consideration before deciding which crops you would process into the kegs and the preserve jars, since the jars are much more faster than the kegs. The best utilization for the kegs has to be with the ancient fruit and the star fruit, where the wine sells for the most. The ancient fruit wine sells for 2310 gold and the star fruit sells for a whopping 3150 gold, making it the most profitable crop for the keg. But for making juice I would not recommend it that much due to the bigger waiting period than the preserve jars, even though it would have a bit of a higher price. And last but not least we have the beehives or bee houses. To be honest this is my favorite artisan equipment since I really enjoy beekeeping. It's a really noble profession which helps out nature the most and in return you get tasty, sweet and healthy honey. It's a win-win on all the sides where the bees are safe from danger, trees are pollinated and we in turn get some of the honey from them, which makes it a really interesting cycle. In Stardew Valley the beehives give you honey from nature, but if you plant flowers next to them, you would get that flower's honey, which would increase the sale price by a lot. The most expensive and profitable honey is the fairy rose honey, which you can only plant in the fall season, but by unlocking Ginger Island, you can plant the flowers there any season and they will never wilt, giving you an unlimited supply of fairy rose honey, which you can sell for huge amounts of gold. 
I made a video on this topic, so feel free to check it out to see how I started out my honey empire. So the bee houses are a passive income where they produce honey every 4 days, and you just have to wait and pick it up. To craft a bee house however, you would need 40 wood, 1 iron bar, 1 maple syrup and the most expensive part which is 8 coal. It has the same price for the preserve jars, so you have to choose from each of those if you're low on resources. The coal is as I mentioned before, would be the hardest to get as you would always plan ahead on what you would spend that coal on before crafting the artisan equipment. Because coal is a really valuable resource in the Stardew Valley world. So in conclusion, like all of the artisan equipment have their own fair share of pros and cons. The beehive for me is the best since it doesn't need any outside control except for planting a flower next to it, so the honey it produces is worth a lot more. But that's only good for Ginger Island, where you just need to plant a flower once and never have to take care of it again. But for the normal farm, the beehive would not be a good investment in the long run, since you can get much more out of the preserve jars and kegs, so wasting all of the materials on that in the start would be quite bad. We can see that the preserve jars and the kegs are much more profitable to craft than the beehives for the normal farm, since you can increase the price of every sellable item by a lot depending on where you process them. For example, I mentioned that juice would be less profitable to make into kegs than making jelly into preserve jars. And that is due to the time difference, where the jelly would finish 2-3 to three days, while the juice would need 4 days to mature. It's not a huge difference, but it's still something that would make an impact in your long run. The price difference, however, for example, of the pumpkin, when made into jelly is 966 gold, while as juice is 1008 gold which as you can see is not a huge price difference, and you would get the jelly a day earlier with a price difference of 42 gold, which is not a huge impact. So producing it with the preserve jars is way more efficient than the kegs, and I think the kegs are much more profitable for crops like starfruit and ancient fruit to make wine out of. So that's my take on these three pieces of artisan equipment. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave a like since it helps me out a lot. I know that every artisan equipment depends on the situation that it's used in, so I hope these tips help you out in your playthroughs, when you need to choose which one to focus at. If you're new to my channel, you can also check out my other videos as well, and if you like to get notified of my future updates, feel free to subscribe to my channel as well. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you all in my next one. But till then, stay safe.